Exploding Head Syndrome Exploding head syndrome isn't the literal mind-blowing condition you might think it is, but it's pretty darn close because people with this problem tend to feel like they're in the middle of a World War II battle with all sorts of noises and explosions messing with their heads. It's what you'd call parasomnia, which is a disorder that disrupts your sleep. Think of it as insomnia's annoying cousin. Essentially, you're hearing loud noises just as you're falling asleep. The noises range from gunshots, explosions, drum beats, to literally feeling like you are at Ramstein's concert. But the surprise is that nothing external is causing the noises. No explosions are happening around you. Your head isn't about to suddenly boom and splatter your brains around. Instead, everything is just happening inside of your head. Scientists, however, aren't sure what causes this problem. One theory is that there are small seizures in the primary auditory complex, the part of the brain that processes sound. This makes you think there are noises around you, even though it's a silent night. Another theory is that it can be caused by damage or dysfunction to the inner ear structures. Despite the scary name, EHS is harmless. It won't lead to brain damage or death. The worst it can do is make it tougher to get your beauty sleep. Synesthesia Try telling people that you can see sounds or hear colors, and they're going to think that you've just had a batch of psychedelic shrooms. But this can happen to some people who experience synesthesia. When you're experiencing this condition, your body mixes different senses together, crossing their effects. So when you're jamming to a song, your taste buds might also taste actual jam. Basically, your brain crosses one sensory experience with another, so when you should normally hear music when listening to a tune, your brain makes you see colors. The brain has different parts that process all of the information from your senses. When you have synesthesia, your brain processes information through two or more brain areas. For example, instead of just your occipital lobe processing what your eyes see, the primary auditory cortex, which processes sound, may also jump into this tag team match. As a result, your brain makes you hear music when your eyes see colors. Let's just say you're going to have a colorful way of listening to music. It is estimated that about 4% of the population experiences different forms of synesthesia. Most people are born with it because of their genetics, but it can also be caused by brain damage or drug use. While having this condition may sound inconvenient, people with synesthesia tend to be more artistic and score higher in intelligence scores, so it's not all that bad. Hyperthymesia When you're in the middle of the toughest college exam of your life, you wish you had hyperthymesia. There's a good reason this condition is also called Highly Superior Autobiographical Memory, or HSAM. People suffering from HSAM have the rare ability to remember an extraordinary number of personal experiences or events with pinpoint accuracy. You don't just remember birthdays or weddings, instead you remember everything that happened to the smallest detail, from their breakfast to what socks they wore on an exact day. It's like your brain becomes a mental time machine that can bring your thoughts back to a certain event, allowing you to dictate everything that happened. These guys never have to wonder where they left their keys. The cause of hyperthymesia is unknown, however certain brain areas appear larger in people with this condition. It sounds like an amazing superpower that will be handy in a huge test, but it can also be the supervillain to your own story. Your mind never forgets awkward situations. It's telling you, hey, remember that time you farted in front of your grade school crush? Or when you missed the game-winning shot during the high school basketball championships? Your brain reruns everything, including the worst parts of your life. Body Integrity Identity Disorder You wake up one day and feel like your left arm isn't yours, like it's been placed there by some mad scientist wanting to recreate Frankenstein's monster. That's what someone with Body Integrity Identity Disorder, or BIID, feels. Suffering from BIID makes you feel like your mental body image doesn't match your physical body. This fills you with the urge to take a sharp knife and amputate the limb, such as your right arm, because you believe it's not yours. When you remove the imposter limb, you'll feel alright again, even though you're just all left. The cause of BIID isn't fully understood, but some researchers believe that the brain isn't mapping the body correctly, especially during childhood. This makes their brains believe that some of their limbs shouldn't be there. In an extreme case of BIID, you might experience something called apotemnophilia, which involves a strong sexual or erotic interest tied to the idea of being an amputee. Their desire to amputate one of their limbs isn't about their brain's wirings, but because they just have freaky sexual desires. So if you see your child cutting off an arm from their dolls and action figures, those may be early signs of BIID. Formication 
Suffering from formication is like being a side character in a horror movie about bugs. It's the feeling you get when you think that bugs and other tiny creatures are crawling on your skin, even though there isn't anything there. Formication is characterized by a tingling and itching sensation that can be uncomfortable or even distressing. Your skin decided to host an invisible bug party without telling you about it. Essentially, what happens is that the nervous system sends false signals to the brain, making a certain part of the body itch for no reason. In most cases, it's as simple as dry skin irritating you, but in other cases, it can be a symptom of something more serious, such as diabetes and brain-related problems. People suffering from alcohol and drug withdrawals can also be seen scratching themselves, thinking that bugs are feasting on them. The first step for people suffering from this condition is to find the cause. It could be something related to your skin, or it could be due to substance abuse. If it's not anything medical related, try putting some lotion on your skin to moisturize it, or maybe distract your brain by going out on a run. Deep breathing can also help to ease your mind and relieve the symptoms, so the next time you feel bugs crawling on you but can't see anything, just relax and don't freak out. That way you won't be bugging anyone else. Hypnagogic Hallucinations you just went through a tired morning and are about to nap midday. As soon as your eyes close, you hear voices around you, as if ghosts were just waiting for you to sleep before doing something crazy. But there aren't any spirits out to get you. Instead, you're just experiencing hypnagogic hallucinations. In a nutshell, these hallucinations put you in a dreamlike state while you're in between being awake and falling asleep. Your senses start to create hallucinations by making you hear voices or even see things that aren't there. This can happen because your brain can mess a few things up during the transition between wakefulness and sleep. Just as you're about to fall asleep, the logical part of your brain rests and allows the dream-generating parts to go to work. Sometimes this can create an overlap, just like how you're already working your shift at work while the coworker from the previous shift is still there. It's like a portal to dream world opens up, allowing crazy sights and sounds to emerge even before you fall completely asleep. This usually happens when you're tired and anxious because your brain is still active Active, even though your body is prepared for sleep mode. Hypnagogic hallucinations are harmless, but it can be startling to see a ghostly figure standing by your side as you drift to sleep. Vivid Dreams Having vivid dreams is like going to a movie theater while you're in bed because it's the best way for you to enjoy a wild sensory experience within your head. Everything around you feels real and exaggerated when you have a vivid dream. The colors and sounds are all in high definition, and you can even touch, taste, and smell everything around you. These dreams are intense and detailed, making you feel like you're in the middle of a virtual reality game while asleep. They often occur in the middle of rapid eye movement, or REM sleep, when your brain is most active. It's almost as if you were awake because of how busy your mind is during this stage. However, it's when you're usually stressed or suffering from sleep disorders that vivid dreams come to life, as if you get sent to another world just after you fall asleep. Sometimes vivid dreams can be great, especially if you're having a delightful adventure in a fantasy land. But they can also be horror movies, where Freddy Krueger and Slenderman are teaming up to get you. Vivid dreams can sound nice, but can impact you negatively because your brain is still working overtime while you're asleep. That's why you can get moody and sleepy during the day even though you had your usual eight hours of sleep. That's the price for living a second life in your sleep, but if it happens every night for weeks or months, maybe it's time to go to visit some mental institution. Pica Disorder Having pica disorder is like having the weirdest pre-period cravings ever. Instead of looking for pizza and cookies, you'll want to snack on dirt, chalk, hair, and nails. It's a culinary ride that's going to put you on Gordon Ramsay's bad side. We all have weird cravings at times, but pica disorder takes it to a more intense level. When you suffer from this disorder, your taste buds rebel against you. So instead of looking for spaghetti, you'd be craving for another thing that's long but less tasty, like hair. The the thing is that this isn't some kind of food trend, but a real compulsion. Pica disorder is linked to nutritional deficiencies, or the stress and mental problems you're going through. When you lack certain vitamins and minerals, your mind will tell your body to look for them in anything, including non-food items. For example, if you lack zinc, you'd probably be craving garden soil, which is full of that stuff. Or when you're in the middle of a tough part of life, you eat your fingernails as a coping mechanism. This condition, however, can be dangerous 
virus, eating non-edible food items can lead to poisoning and blockages. Of course, no one will invite you out on a food trip if your idea of fine dining is eating sand. If you want to share your biggest food cravings with people who love the same food, you should join our Discord. Just ensure you don't bring your taste for human hair. Kagra delusion. You wake up one morning ready to go down and have breakfast with your family, only to look at your loved ones and think something strange is happening, even if they're familiar. Your first conclusion is that aliens replace them in disguise. That's how Kagra delusion works. Also called imposter syndrome, this condition is rooted in the science behind your brain. The human mind is full of different sections that house different memories. If you're suffering from Kagra delusion, there's a mix-up in how the brain recognizes faces. It mixes familiarity with feelings of strangeness. This is more common in people suffering from dementia, Alzheimer's disease, or brain injury. What happens here is that your brain tries to cook up a story to make sense of the strangeness you feel when looking at something familiar. You'll likely think that you're in a parallel universe, or that everyone you know got replaced by lizard people in disguise. For example, for example, whenever you're looking at your best friend Joe, you know that he's familiar to you, but because your mind links familiarity with strangeness, you think something strange is happening. So you'd be saying, nah, that's not Joe, that's his evil twin, Mo. Prosopagnosia Prosopagnosia is like your iPhone's Face ID system going nuts, unable to recognize your face. If you suffer from this condition, everyone's face looks like Picasso's most abstract paintings. Prosopagnosia is called face blindness for a reason. You keep forgetting faces. So when you walk down the street and someone says hi to you, but you can't recognize this guy, you're not being rude, you just can't tell who that dude is, only remembering him as soon as he mentions his name. This condition is caused by problems in the inferior temporal cortex, the brain area responsible for recognizing faces. It can also be passed down through your genetics. If someone in your family has a history of forgetting faces, there's a good chance you'll suffer the same condition too. But it can also be acquired, especially if you suffer traumatic brain injury, strokes, or degenerative diseases. The biggest problem with this condition is that you can't interpret facial expressions, and must constantly rely on hairstyle, clothing, or voice to identify people. So if your friends keep changing anything about their appearance, you'll have difficulty recognizing them. False Awakening your brain has its way of playing pranks on you. Sometimes you'd wake up and go through your morning routine, you'd drink your coffee and catch the bus to work or school. It's all a regular day, until your alarm goes off and makes you realize you were drooling on your pillow the entire time. You were still asleep when you thought you had already gone through half your day. This is what's called a false awakening. This phenomenon often happens when there's an increased level of alertness while you're in deep sleep. So instead of experiencing the usual dreams, such as being in a relationship with your crush, Crush, your brain gives you dreams focused on familiar things, such as your daily routine. This gives you the false belief that you already woke up. In most cases, this happens when you anticipate something stressful, such as a big exam or an important job interview. Your brain is now on full alert, ready to prepare you for that big event, even though your body is still snuggled between the blankets. Instead of you fighting dragons in your sleep, your brain forces you to go to work in slumberland. There are also instances when false awakenings can happen in cycles, you often wake up multiple times, only to discover you were just dreaming. When you go back to sleep, it happens again. It's like your body is a broken record player stuck in an infinite loop, making it hard to figure out if you've already woken up for real. So you might want to take it easy on the coffee and try calming your mind before sleeping. Aquagenic urticaria. Having aquagenic urticaria is like nature playing a cruel joke on you. Humans love water because we need it for our survival. But if you're suffering from this condition, your skin is essentially allergic to water. A relaxing bath after a tough job is usually the part of the day that most people look forward to. But not if you're suffering from this condition. As soon as you dip in your bathtub, your skin will start itching and break into hives. So now you choose between smelling like a pig because you can't take a bath or scratching your body like a flea-infested dog once water touches you. But there are no answers to why this can happen to some people. The theory is that certain people have skin naturally sensitive to water, triggering allergic reactions that turn showers into trips to itchy town. If you're out on a trip with your friends, it will be hard to tell them, sorry, I can't go on that water slide because I'm allergic to fun. Thankfully, taking antihistamine medication can be a quick but temporary fix to this itch fest.